The key to creating a very smooth blending brush is the amount of paint in the ink category. Make sure you have mixing ground color selected and that you have running color selected. So as I paint here you can see that it blends very smoothly. If I have uh, blend selected, notice that it blends but it's a little streaky. It's not nearly as smooth. The other thing is the pin pressure curve is important. You need to make sure that your minimum value is set to zero and that your curve looks something like this. Basically uh, no uh, output for most of the pin pressure but then uh, at the very highest pin pressure you get full output. That kind of curve allows you to lay down a strong color with a harsh edge if you have hardness set and then you can blend it. So that's what that allows you to do. Notice that color stretch is not that important for this. Uh, it can be important for other parts. Um, and density of paint is not important if you're painting on the same layer. When you're painting on the other layer though, a layer on top, you do need to have density of paint up and that allows you to paint on a separate layer. And it has the same kind of characteristics, the same kind of curve and the same uh, setting of minimum value. Now for the brush tip you can use circle but you can also use a material um, I have the hardness um, set up all the way so that you get that hard edge and then you can blend. Brush density is just all the way up and you just have a standard pin pressure curve. So here's what it looks like if you have this kind of a shape. I've got a rectangular shape with material and you can see we have a nice kind of a textured edge here that you can create if you like more of a rectangular brush. But that's how you create a very smooth blend.